Radio Raheem here with Errol Spence, victorious tonight, man. Look, I gotta ask you because I seen fighters take a shot and they smile at the opponent like it didn't hurt, smile at the judges like that didn't count, but you smile to yourself when you take a shot. What is going on in your head? What is what, what's happening when you when you take that blow? Oh, um, it's just you know, it's just it's more like you know I took the shot and it didn't hurt, so it's like you know I just smile like. Because I know the opponent's in trouble if I take a shot and it didn't hurt. Now it was just all off offensive for, for me. Uh, a lot of people were commending you on your body work. And you started the fight uh, going downstairs, which is commendable. Is there a moment in the fight, like sometimes fighters say, I can hear the guy whimper. I can hear him get suck wind. Do you know when the body shots start to pay dividends? Um, not necessarily, not not at first, but I mean, you know, it's it's a good investment, especially you go to a round fight. You know, it's gonna pay off in the later round, so you go to the body early. I mean, that's something we practice in the gym all the time, going to the body. And if it doesn't hurt, you know, it still take a little bit out of you in the later rounds. When you dominate a fighter, everybody looks for anything, any cracks, any flaws, anything that could possibly be uh, criticized. You did take a couple of shots in there, yeah. some some flush punches. How and why? Um, you know, it's just boxing. I mean, you're going to get hit. I mean, if anybody think they see some flaws in my game and, you know, they can capitalize off of it, call out. Uh, give, me, it give me one more. Give me one more. We saw Keith Thurman back off against Garcia when he was head on the cards. This yeah. is a fight you could have easily won at a distance and taken your time. What makes you decide to take risks and go for the knockout instead of cruise to uh, a decision or a, an easy victory? Like I said, I love I love great performances, man, and I believe, you know, the ultimate win is getting a knockout or a stoppage, you know, so that's why I won. And it looked good on your record, too. 23 and 0 with 20 knockouts look good, man. Talking about going back to Dallas, obviously nobody else will fight you. You have two guys fighting in yeah. this one. My next fight back in Dallas. Okay, but you're fighting in, uh, in El Paso. Yeah. Victor Ortiz and Yeah. Would one of them be one of the guys? Man, I don't know. <laughs> Would that be something you'd like to really entertain? I mean, it don't matter. I've been telling y'all over and over, I don't care. Is there, is there something special about Texas fighters? Every every boxing community has a culture. What's the culture of Texas? I mean, we rugged, man. We rugged. We train in 120 degree weather. It's dry heat. Sometimes it's humid. No air conditioning in the gym. We just rugged, grimy fighters, man. We can box and we'll, we'll come, we can box and we don't mind sticking our head in the inside and getting dirty. Congratulations, man. Wonderful, wonderful fight. Love to watch your work. Radio Raheem with Errol Spence. Or do you feel like 